Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Cake Collections and today I have an awesome unboxing video for you guys today. This is the Fate Grand Order 1 7th scale Lancer Scuthawk. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that name, so feel free to correct me down in the comment section down below. This is from Quest. I've never collected any figures from this company before, so this is the first time. Nonetheless, the figure looks absolutely stunning. I was honestly planning on getting Plum's release of this character. However, there were a lot of quality control issues where the head would just break off. So I didn't want to spend over $100 on a figure that's potentially going to break. So I got this and nonetheless looks really, really great. So I'm really excited to unbox this in front of you guys today. And before I even do that, I just want to first apologize for the glare right there. You can kind of see me moving my head back and forth. I, I know that could get kind of annoying, so just want to apologize in advance. But enough of all that, let's take a look at the figure. So the front of the box is very simple. There's a clear window display where you can clearly see the figure, which is awesome. Of course, the Fate Grand Order logo up top right here, Quest's logo down here, and a promotional image of the character on this other corner. Alright, so spinning on to the side now, very simple, there isn't a lot of details on this box to be honest. Uh, of course, you can see the Fate Grand Order logo right there, as well who the sculptor is and who also painted this figure. So moving on to the back now, you see three promotional images of this character. Honestly, if you collect figures, you've probably seen these pictures online already. Nothing too special here, but the thing to note is that this is a Type Moon sticker of authenticity right there. I do believe they already made bootleg versions of this figure already, so just be careful when you're buying online. I bought this from Ami Ami, so they always sell authentic figures. Moving on to the other side, and again, very simple design. And here's just the top of the box and the bottom of the box. So here's the inner packaging of this figure. I'm just going to spin this around so you guys can see how they package this figure. Really love Gabe Borg right there. Looks beautiful. I love the detailing on the spear. And yeah, let's open the package up now. So there are one, two, three tapes on the side. And another three tapes on the other side. So of course we can't forget her spear right here. Very well packaged. And just cut off the tape as well. I believe there's just one. Just one tape. Wow, okay. Let's check the other side. Yep, just one tape. Very simple. And here it is. Holy crap, I gotta admit, this looks amazing. Here's just a close-up of Gay Bog. I do believe this is a different version, not the one passed down to Kukalan. Um, again, I probably mispronounced his name. I forgot the lore of Skaha, but... Nonetheless, the spear looks amazing, especially at the blade. The amount of detail, it's just incredible. I also love the shiny metallic red coloring that they use for the spear. Alright, and of course, she has her base. This is where she's going to stand. I love the symbol. I assume that's her summoning circle, not really quite sure. Nonetheless, it looks great. Uh, pretty simplistic, I mean, you know, it's uh, basically a black base with, uh, you know, designing decals right there. But it looks great. I'm always, when I collect figures, I always like uh, an environment base. That always looks the best, but you can't always have everything, you know, you want, right? And lastly, of course, this is the instructions. Whenever you buy figures, always read the instructions, or at least look at the picture. I don't read Japanese, but you know, just so you don't break anything, always look at the instructions. So, to connect her onto her base, it's very simple. You just peg her foot onto the peg right there. Alright, here's the figure out of the box. I've got to say, this looks amazing. I'm just going to spin her around so you guys can get a 360 degree look. Uh, it wasn't too hard putting her spear onto her hands. Uh, just be careful, of course, read the instructions. But the thing is to be careful with these strands of hair right here. They are a bit fragile. So when you're inserting the spear into her hands, just, again, be very cautious. Now spin her around. And yeah, this figure is 
honestly amazing, no regrets whatsoever. And honestly, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. Of course, I'm not going to review this figure yet, but stay tuned. I am planning on reviewing this in the future, so that'll be great right there. And as always, guys, you know, thank you for the support, all the comments. You know, I try my best to reply to you know, all you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, I do other unboxing, reviews, especially I'm getting into the Fate Grand Order figures. You know, can't wait to show you guys more. And as always, guys, have an awesome, awesome day.